Dear all, Namaste. Today, I shall be discussing on few complications of mastery surgery. As you know, mastery surgery is a common surgery performed for chronic otitis media, eticantral type, or for chronic mastitis or for acute mastitis. When we open the mastoid, the structures which are in relation to mastoid irrigation system might be damaged. As you know, the upper boundary of the mastoid entrum is the dural plate, which is commonly called as tegmen entri. We might damage the dural plate, leading to bleeding, CSF leak, and occasionally brain fungus after surgery. Brain fungus is a misnomer. The brain tissue that is coming to the mastoid cavity is called as the brain fungus, which is quite rare nowadays. It used to happen in the past when chisel was used during mastoid surgery. Next is injury to sigmoid sinus, again leading to bleeding. The injury to dural plate and the sigmoid sinus occurs when there is a small mastoid entrum, so called contracted entrum. More complications occur when there is contracted mastoid entrum. The next complication is injury to facial nerve, leading to complete or incomplete facial palsy. The facial nerve is occasionally descent in the tympanic segment. More commonly, the nerve is damaged in the mastoid segment. But nowadays, with use of knob monitor, the complications can be reduced. Next is injury to the stiffest foot plate, leading to sensory hearing loss or derriere. If we are doing surgery on the mastoid, and if the intraspural joint is intact, it is better to dislocate the IS joint before doing drilling on the editor's area. Sometimes, in difficult cases, incomplete surgery might be there, leading to residual disease, residual cholesterol. For undergraduates, there are certain sites where the cholesterol can be left behind. They are the interior epitymbanum, sinodural angle, oval window area, and the facial recess area. They are the common sites where the cholesterol might be left behind. When the mastoid cavity is not obliterated, sometimes there might be mastoid cavity problems, including discharging mastoid cavity, and occasionally resurgery is required to obliterate the mastoid cavity. Thank you. Thank you so much.